Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Today we're going to do another bargain beer review. Um, this is where we try and solve life's mysteries. Um, was there really a World War II bomber found on the moon? And also, if the Korean, well, if the North Koreans really want to get match fit, have they considered having a go at bombing Milton Keynes? Anyway, today on the taste test we have from our good friend Shepard Neem up and under from the uh, this was 99 English pence from supermarket chain Lidl it's from their Master Brewers Choice series um, on the back we have uh, as a sight it says russet from a smell hoppy roast and spicy from a taste rich bitter toffee this is 3.8% uh, on the ABV you can see it's a little bit dark in colour um, cap wise we have our nice Infamous Shepherd Neem uh, design. Um, let's give this one a crack. Here we go. A little bit of cannon smoke. Um, this has been in the fridge overnight, but took it out maybe about an hour and a half ago, so the bottle is a little bit chilled. Let's give this a pour. Um, I've had a bit of stick for me pouring over the last few weeks, so I shall try and do this one a bit better. Again, a non nucleated. Uh, glass um, which is extremely clean no residue in at all so let's try and give it a consistent pour consistent speed but at the same time a little bit of aggression towards the end just try and give it a little bit of a little bit of head so we'll leave that one there for the taste test right color wise I've got the infamous Magulite torch today can you see that is that going? I oh, yeah. That's a russet. You know, I have that as a mahogany chestnut, but you know, horses for courses, as it were. Headwise, even with my little chubby fingers, that's just over a one. Uh, I reckon that's a one, one finger head. Right. Let's give it a bit of a bit of a sniff. That's interesting one that is. That is, um, I'm getting the dark malts and maybe a little bit of berry, but it's quite strong on the aroma as well. Um, I've had, as you've probably seen on my channel, I've done a few Shepherd's Name over the last uh, few weeks. Um, some of them have been a little bit hit and miss. This is a nice, uh, a nice uh, dark, dark rich smell. Um, let's give it a give it a quick taste. Cheers, guys. Ooh, that's an interesting one that is. Um, I'm getting a little bit of like nutty notes on it, um, a little bit of nutty woody on the finish. Um, hop wise, being Shepherd's name, you know it's going to be East Kent Goldings in there, but it's like it's been mixed with something. Let me just have a have a quick look at the bottle. Bear with me one sec, guys. Um, interesting on the back of this, actually. Now, um, Uncle Jonna did a vid of this um, probably about a month ago, and he very kindly gave me a mention um, when I was on about some good deals on beer at Lidl's. Um, this one, Triple Crown, it's all full of rugby puns, and for those of you on the other side of the pond, rugby is a bit like American football, or gridiron as you call it, except our blokes don't wear crash helmets and pads. Um, your blokes might be five stone heavier and two foot taller, but horses for courses, isn't it? But Triple crown of hops. I wonder if it's mixed in with some Styrians or maybe a bit of fuggles in there for good measure. Um, but that's, that's, that's an interesting one, actually. It is, it's quite fruity and dry on the finish, Really good mouthful on that as well. Um, you know, head still sticking around. Good bit of lacing. Just give it another quick stir and a flop and another quick taste. That's good butter, that is. Um, yeah, enjoyed that. That, I say, 99 English pence, supermarket chain, Lidl. Oh, it's really nice of that. Chip out the glass. Um, would I buy that again? Most definitely. 
damn right I would actually. I might even nip over there and see if they've got some more left because that is a good beer. Carbonation wise you can probably see that again like a lot of them that is in my book about bang on for this uh, sort of style of beer. Um, not overly busy because you don't want it sort of fizzing around like a cider or being completely still like a glass of wine but oh pardon me that's good. Um, right get over to Lidl 99p it is up and under by Shepherd's Name go and get one. Mark out of 10 Definitely a seven, um, maybe a seven and a half. Yeah, I'll go for seven and a half. It's still, in my book, on my lap chart, as it were, that is still the best one I've come across for a, a cheap supermarket bargain beer. I've got that one probably an eight and a half out of ten. Um, and, and that is always 99 English pence. Never, you know, a, a £1.50 or a £2 one on offer. That's a consistent price one, that is. That's a little as well. Um, again, check out my back catalogue for a review on that. But, uh, yeah, that's me out. Over, over and out, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Um, see you soon for another Homebrew Wednesday or a Thirsty Thursday. Cheers, guys. Be seeing you.